A steak bowl can be incredibly satisfying to eat. This one has a ton of different flavors, has good macros and is super easy to make. First off, I will make cilantro rice. Put a pot on a scale and add in 60 grams of raw jasmine rice. At 200 calories, I believe 60 grams of rice is a decent serving for one person. Then add double the amount of cold water, which in this case is 120 grams, and a pinch of salt. Put the pot in the stove on high heat and as soon as it starts to boil, reduce the heat to low, close the lid and let it simmer for 12 minutes. In the meantime, I will make a barbecue sauce. Into a glass, add zero added ketchup. This tastes pretty much like regular ketchup, but has only 44 calories per 100 grams, which is very low for a condiment. 20 grams goes into the glass. Next is 10 grams of mustard, 10 grams of honey to add some sweetness, five grams of sour sauce for some umami and to add salt, and lastly, vinegar. If you have, like me, balsamic vinegar cream, that would be perfect as it adds a really nice flavor. If not, just use the regular white vinegar. 10 grams goes into the glass. This sauce tastes really nice on top of the steak that I'm going to prepare next. Here I have 180 grams of top sirloin steak. In my opinion, this is the best compromise between having good macros and still tasting good. Of course, it's not a ribeye, but it has half the calories of ribeye and is still decently tender and juicy. I will cut the steak onto big planks and then again into small bite-sized cubes so you can eat everything with a spoon later on. However, you can also cut the steak into even smaller pieces if you want. There is no right or wrong here. And also, if you want, you can use chicken breast here, the recipe will work exactly the same. Next, add everything into a bowl, followed up by a little bit of oil and then half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a strong pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then mix everything with a spoon or a spatula until the meat turns into this deep fire red color. As the bowl add-on, I will slice an avocado in half and store the other half in the fridge for another day. If you wrap the open avocado in cling film and wrap it really tight so that little oxygen can get to the fruit, the browning process will be slowed down and it will still be green even the next day. Then remove the pit and cut the avocado into thin slices. Also, I will add half a cucumber that you need to peel and cut into smaller bite-sized pieces. I tried cucumber in a rice bowl last year for the first time and I really loved it. So please give this one a try if you haven't already. The last thing to prepare is 70 grams of frozen peas. Peas are a relatively good protein source and taste great in many savory dishes. They are the perfect add-on for any kind of meatballs. So let's get cooking. Heat up a pan to medium high heat and then start with the steak. Spread out the meat so it gets in contact with the pan and let it sit there for about one minute. If you think that the pan is a bit too dry, you can always add another bit of oil with your spray. After a minute or so, flip everything and keep frying until you get a brown color on all sides and the meat is still medium. This will take about three minutes in total. Don't overcook the meat here as it can get tough very quickly because there is not a lot of fat on it. At the very end, add in the piece and give everything a stir so the piece can absorb all of the flavors from the seasoning on the beef. They will taste absolutely amazing. The piece only need about 30 seconds, then remove the pan from the heat. So prepare a bowl and now add in the cooked rice as the base. Add in the juice of half a lime and then a bunch of fresh chopped cilantro. Give everything a stir and this is a very easy way to make cilantro rice. Now add the sliced cucumber on top, followed up by the avocado, put the steak onto the middle of the bowl and lastly the peas. The final thing is to drizzle the barbecue honey mustard sauce on top and there you have an absolute flavor bomb that is made in about 20 minutes. Macros for the bowl are 754 calories, 81 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat and 53 grams of protein. I made a cookbook that has over 200 low calorie high protein recipes at this point that will help you lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. I will be constantly updating the book with new recipes and you will get every recipe update for free once you've purchased it. There are already thousands of people that bought the book. The link is in the description. You won't regret it.